Hello, thank you for this opportunity. This is Beth McDonough here uh, from Dundee. I have two poems here, the first of which is reflecting on January's Assassin 2, and it's partly in English and partly in Doric. It's a, a specular. Reflecting on January's Assassin 2. Not in his usual spot, where that stock-legged elegance midstreams in inches of this filthy burn. Today, he's one hunch-shouldered magnate, vigilant malignancy, Darth Vader dark and high on a ruining wall. Fixated on what? Hopefully not those glinting plastic aspects which just might double as fish. But if anyone picks out good life amongst litter, surely this heron can. He waits far over the strangles of half-livid brambles, past honesty, grown dry-eyed and pale. We at our dry in just that footer o' honesty watches. Fe rid tries o' brammels stranglin. E bogey mani o' at bricks. He stop it no, but nae stop it foo. Man, if on a body kens fits quick here, surely it's the heron. Fund amid slitherated lur glints, which man put him in mine o plastic hops. He's fretting at exactly what. Peering, peering for a young Tamil wa, or shochlin this aura burns ra keech. He's nae parnte to his own or spot, hither he shuddered, at cragged assassin. Thank you. The other poem is called In the Bath After Your Winter Swim, Remember, and after I've recorded that, I'll be heading off for a swim in the tea. Not quite winter yet, but get colder. In the bath, after your winter swim, remember, you're able to unplug that residue, gritted in darkness, ensure it spirals down drain to meet its own type in dank sewered Netherlands. Wipe away all the washed-off stuff, which sands up cracks, turns scratch surface irritant, or blocks possible outlets. A little vigilance removes every trace. These days are mean-wrapped, but tiny gifts. Learn to unpack them. Grab the brine and the light. Let the vortex carry the needless to depths. Thank you very much for listening.